Another type of free cooling is called water side economization. Rather than simply drawing in ambient temperatures to allow for free equipment cooling, water side economization utilizes the fact that the wet bulb temperature of the air is typically much lower than the dry bulb temperature of the air. Succinctly, the drier the environment, the greater the difference, generally, between wet and dry bulb temperatures, and the more opportunity to employ such technology. Water side economization is essentially indirect evaporative cooling. The cooling tower in a water chilled system is employed to pre-cool the chilled water to nearly the wet bulb temperature of the air. That pre-cooled water then is brought back into contact with the secondary refrigeration loop within the facility. Depending on the temperature of the chilled water and the set points of the HVAC equipment within the facility, either the chillers within the facility won't have to run at all, or will at least be able to run far less than they would typically. An ideal environment in which this type of cooling can provide the potential for massive energy savings is the desert southwest U.S., although water side economization can be utilized in almost every part of the country, though perhaps not year-round. The concept of free cooling is one that can clearly provide energy savings, but it may seem a solution somewhat at odds with our high density cooling environment requirements. There are other complementary solutions that we can employ, developing a hybrid approach to maximize efficiencies and minimize plant and operational costs. A concept known as high density cooling brings cooling closer to the source of heat through the use of cooling units located near the rack to complement and support the base room air conditioning. Thus, we might be able to utilize free conditioning throughout the room coupled with select locations or instances of high density cooling in areas of especially high server heat load densities. Such surgical insertion of equipment can reduce cooling power by another third compared to traditional room air conditioning plants. Such high-density cooling systems are integral in all high-density data centers, facilitating continued operation of areas of up to 30 kilowatts per rack, and possibly as much as 50 kilowatts per rack or higher in the future. 